So here we go. We're gonna go in the tiny house and kind of take a look at some of the updates that we've had. And we're gonna talk about some of the finishes. So here we're heading in. So as we walk into the tiny house, the first thing to note is the the first thing to note is the stairway. And the stairway we are finished with. We're just gonna finish up some of the little loose details that go into it. And we're gonna use that AFL product to put the doors and finish the stairway all the way to the floor. So all of the storage under the stairway will stay storage, just accessed by individual doors. And then we're going to keep a hanging coat rack on the stairway because it's a perfect place where you walk in. Then on the other side, we have a wall mounted TV, but behind it, we have our closet. And that closet for us is going to be finished on the face with the AFL. That'll probably happen next weekend, part of next weekend's project. So our ceiling in our living room space is currently unfinished. It's all just joists and plywood and has kind of a rough frame look and I'm kind of right now thinking that I like that look in the two ceilings and I'm thinking of keeping it. But feel free to leave a comment if you think it should be tongue and groove pine because that's the other option. We're going to put tongue and groove pine throughout the rest of the tiny house and we could certainly put it on the ceiling too. So just the way I'm leaning but I'm open to anybody's suggestions. This is basically stayed as it is. We put some railings up in our loft area and those are pretty cool. They actually define that space a little bit and we end up with our loft feeling quite large despite having the barricade. As you can see, it's pretty cozy up there. It's comfortable. Temperature stays really good and it's not a bad space to spend your weekend. So back in our kitchen area there was our sink project and here's the parts to our our water fill to project so that's gonna be getting done today now as we go into the bathroom the cool thing about the bathroom is we're gonna do it in we're gonna do it all in cedar so we are actually going to turn our bathroom slash shower into a bathroom shower and sauna we're gonna mill our own cedar with that as far as cutting our tongue and groove cuts into the cedar. And I'm really looking forward to the way that's gonna turn out. I'm really excited about that. That'll probably be about two weeks down the road because we have to mill all of our lumber and get all of our dados cut on it to make it all to make it all fit good. Make it look nice. So as you can see in the oven, currently we're seasoning a pan in there. That thing is just about done being seasoned, so I'm looking forward to getting that out, cooling. And then this is our front living room slash study space, so it's the area that I can concentrate on my schoolwork and get my homework done. So that's our little tiny house tour. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little update. We've got we're living in a little, little bit, but we're still trying to get all of our projects done, but. As you can see, we have a pretty comfy little space and our outside views are pretty amazing to look at. Kind of enjoy being part of the outside. Pretty comfortable. Take a look at the thermometer. We're 30 outside and 60 inside. 66 inside with our heater on low. So the house is doing what it's supposed to.